What's up, Foundation? What's up, YouTube? Man, it's me, your big partner, Cartoon One. Man, I'm back again. Y'all hear that? Not either. Man, what's wrong? Look, dog. Come here. Come here. Man, I couldn't even get through the... the uh, come here. Y'all hear that? Man, that's that, man, that dog retarded. That dog crazy. The dog been sitting still all day. He ain't made no, no crazy move to do nothing on Soon as I get on here to make a video, he go 5150 out of nowhere for nothing. Anyway, man, it's me, your big partner, man, cartoon one, man, look, hey, whatever, whatever, y'all know what's up, man. Let me get to the video, because the dog's something else. Man, let's go back to the, let's go back in the day, man. Back, back, back in the day, I had a partner, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. He got at me one time, man, and he was like, "Man, Toon, you ever did security?" I'm like, "Uh, no, homie, not really. You know what I'm saying? Um, it ain't really my thing." He was like, "Man, listen, we got a club over here now. At back at this time, uh, they had a Jamaican and Belizean club." Right there, if I'm not mistaken, like right there on, um, that was 35th and Western. Right there in Harlem Hood. And um, he wanted me to come help him do some security work. So I'm like, Cuz, man, nah, it ain't, that ain't my, um, you know, at that time, I'm like, homie, nah, that ain't, that ain't my, that ain't my get out. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't my thing. So he was like, man, listen, man, I, we need some help, homie. Now, you got to look. Now, this back in the day. Man, I was on Super Swole back at the time he was talking to me. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I was like, man, it ain't really my thing. He was like, man, you don't do nothing but stand out. You work a few hours and you gone. Man, you just stand at the front. And um, you know what I'm saying? You know, make sure the people come in. Make sure everything correct and blah, blah, blah. And that's it. I'm like, mm. So I'm thinking about it. I say, man, look, one of the reasons why. I really don't want to fool around, especially at no at no club like that. I say that's that this that's a J Jamaican and Belizean club. I say, man, look, the women the women crazy. I say the I say the dudes crazy. I say now here it is. If one of them women try to get at me and they look good, you know what I'm saying I'm gonna respond, homie, and you know the correct way. You know what I'm saying I was looking good. I say, but man, them dudes is super stupid retarded. Super stupid retarded about them women. Jim Jamaicans and the they go crazy over they women. The women crazy and they crazy. I say, homie, I ain't trying to kill nobody, homie. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to kill nobody. Now, see, look, this is my mentality right here. You know, a lot of people, they gonna always say when they talk about certain stuff, they gonna always say, Man, uh, I ain't trying to die, or man, I ain't finna have nobody kill me, or or man, um, uh, like I used to hear him say when I was, you know, locked up in prison in Alabama, uh, that you know, dudes be getting to it, and the first thing they holler, man, I'm gonna make, man, I'm gonna make you kill me, you know what I'm saying? That's like saying they gonna go so hard in the paint that the only way you gonna stop them is if you kill them. So dudes, I used to hear dudes all the time, man, shoot, boy, you gonna have to kill me. They gonna have to kill me. I, no, that see that right there ain't never been one of my get downs, homie. That ain't never been nothing that I aspired to. I used to always say, "Man, they gonna make me kill him." You know, I was saying like that. I ain't never talk about. Uh, I, ain't, I ain't finna have nobody kill me. No, my my mentality is, don't make me kill you. You know, because I ain't never looked at it as somebody gonna hurt me. I always looked at it as I'm gonna hurt them. But anyway, 
so uh, he talked to me, told me, and I told him, I said, man, look, what I do, I said, I tried. I tried, I tried one time just to see. Just to see. So he's like, okay. I came there. I'll never forget, man. It was on a Friday. It was on a Friday. So I'm standing in the front. You know what I'm saying? Women coming in. And man, these, man, these girls look good, man. They was bad, thick, swole. They coming in. You know the dudes coming in. Okay, come on in, come on in. You know, I'm doing my regular, you know, what the dudes showed me how to do, which I knew nothing about back then. I know how to do it good now. But I didn't know what I, you know what I'm saying? I'm 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 trying to watch him and see uh, you know, what he doing. So I could, you know, I could do the same thing. Okay, he he patting them like this, patting them like that. He doing this and doing that. All right, so boom. Now, time going on, time going on. I'm going to get straight to the point. My biggest fear, I call it a fear, but the, the thing that I, that it, it came to par, what I said I didn't want to happen. Man, the red bone. You know how them Jamaicans, they come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Man, thick red bone. Man, I'm, you know, she showed a little interest in me. Now, y'all. Now, for those who know me, you know, they know I'm, I'm, I'm weak for a red girl. I'm weak for a red girl. So anyway, um, she go to talk to me. I'm talking back. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, you know, I like this right here. So now one of the things I... What is that? Where you find that at? No matter what I do, no matter what I say, you going Hey, excuse me. You going to just continue to interrupt the video, huh? Can I can I do the video? Then he got the nerve to try to run, be fast. Yeah, yeah, excuse me, Foundation. Excuse me. No, stop. For y'all who don't know, this is Mr. Wiggles. Mr. Wiggles, for some reason, want to interrupt the videos every chance he gets. Every chance he gets, he want to interrupt the video. And then he going to sit up there and once I, one, then look, now he want to sit up there and act innocent. Listen. You going to let me finish the video? Excuse me. Excuse me. Can I finish the video? You gonna stop? Okay, so anyway, cause I already know what this gonna be. Anyway, so I'm getting it old girl. Now one of the questions I asked her was, do she got a do? You know what I'm saying? You know where your old man at, you know? She swore me down she didn't have one. You know, what I should have asked her was, is there anybody in there that like you then? You know what I'm saying? But who gonna be thinking like that to ask no girl something like that? You know, you ask a man, you know, you got a dude, she gonna say yeah, yeah, nay. And then that's it. Yeah, yeah, nay. And then that's it. We talking, we talking, we talking. Dude come out the club. He got two more partners with him. It's three of them all together. <clears throat> the first thing he do, he immediately blow on old girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calling her all type of names and this and that. So I'm looking like, dang. So she do got to do. She do got to do. So now, it ain't my business, man. I don't get, I don't get nobody, you know, about, about checking a woman or, or whatever, whatever going on. You ain't my woman. I'm just talking to you right here and here. So I'm not finna get involved with nothing that's finna go on with you and this dude until he went upside her head. 
Now all bets was now all bets was off when that happened. All bets was off. So I try to tell the cat, I'm like, hey, look, hold on, homie, hold up. I say, homie, you ain't finna beat her right here in front of the club. You ain't you ain't finna beat her in front of me, homie. Now, whatever y'all got going on, you can take her home and do whatever you gonna do, homie. But now you know what I'm saying? Don't don't jump on her right here in front of me. Man, I do what I want to do, say what I want to say, go where I want to go. You know, he ain't said exactly that, but the bottom line was I do what I want to do. If I want if I want to beat this broad, I'll beat her and I'll do this and that. No, no, no. Okay, well, he showed me that he wasn't thinking about what I was talking about. Because oops, upside her head, he went. Boop! Urgh. He gave me no choice but to try to play Captain Save a Hole. Yeah, he gave me no choice. Try to play Captain Save a Hole. I went to reach for him. He jumped back and deed up. When he deed up, now he wasn't no big old dude, but when he deed up, I'm telling my like, man, I'm you know now I used to at the time that this took place, I used to cuss. So I tell him, I say, fool, man, you better get on up out of man, for I'll beat your whoop, 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 and do whoop, 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 He like, man, you ain't finna F with me. You ain't finna touch me. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'll kill you, and I'll do this and that. What? So I go to get at him. <coughs> he bounced back. He tell me, man, hold on. He said, I tell you what, hold on. I say, yeah, for, hold on for what? He turned around and jet. <coughs> <coughs> What? You gonna let me tell a story? <clears throat> okay, anyway. He turned around and jet. Now me, being naive, somewhat young, I'm thinking that's it. Anyway, man, I'm thinking that's it. I'm thinking it's over with. I ain't know no better. Man, it took this dude about 10 minutes, about 15 minutes. Now, you know 15 minutes go by because old girl went back in the club. Whatever me and her was talking about was over with. Y'all stuvo through. Man, I see the dude coming back down Western. I seen him coming back. I seen him coming from a distance, though. He coming from a direction that he, when he left, he went toward... Uh, 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 you know, he went, he, he went toward the twenties walking, walking that way. But when he came, when he come back, he coming back from like, he come like he coming from, um, from Vernon or something from Santa Barbara. He coming from that way. I see the fool coming from a this. I'm like, huh, man, that's him. Man, the dude get about half a block. I said, nah, it wasn't even that far, man. It might've been about. About 40 feet, 40 or 50 feet. And he come up with the heat. When he come up with the heat, I knew what time it was. Now I'm already in my mind, okay, knowing these Jamaican and Belizeans crazy. Because, see, look, a lot of people don't know. Back then at that time, in the in the 20s and the 30s, it was a lot of, lot of Belizeans. A lot of Belizeans. The Harlem had a lot of Belizeans. And the NHBs, the 20s, had a lot of Belizeans. I, I don't know why they settled in that area, but when they came over from Belize, that area was inundated real thick with them. A lot of Belizeans, a lot of Belizeans from Harlem and, and the 20s, from the 30s and the 20s. So, but now, and then everybody know how crazy them fools was. So now, when he come up with it, when he come up with it, y'all, my mama ain't never raised no fool, and I ain't never been no fool. Um, I you know the 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 saying I rather for this is a good saying. This is a good saying, off the rip. This is a good saying. I rather for people to say, "There he go," than "There he lay." Huh? Wait a minute. Hold on. Intermission. Everybody been hollering, pause. I ain't finna holler, pause. 
I'm finna start a new trend. I told y'all I'm a trendsetter. I'm gonna say intermission. Intermission. There he go rather than there he lay. There I went to. Yeah. Man, let me tell you something, man. I ran up in that club like I paid my money to get in it. Not only did I run back up in the club, I ran through the club. Look, I'm finna let you down. Don't start no mess. Go. He gonna start it. Not only did I run up into the club, I ran through the club. I'm thinking it's a back door. If it was one, I couldn't find it. Man, you know how you ran, and, and you, and, and man, I, I I hit the back of the club. I went left, went right. I'm asking people, man, what other door, what other door? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm looking for the owner. I'm looking for something. I'm thinking this fool, because in my mind, I'm like, I'm th you know, these are some of the craziest people on the planet. I'm thinking, man, this clown finna come up in here and gun me down in front of everybody about a brawl. He don't come in. But it took me a minute for me to realize he wasn't coming in. But I'm knowing he out there. Man, about, man, I say about 10 minutes go by. I'm posted up way in the back where the music at. I'm watching, though. I'm watching, boy. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm a little spook. Yeah, I'm a little spook. I ain't got no heat. Ain't no homies over here. You know what I'm saying? I'm solo dolo. First hand, first time, first hand at some security mess. Man, listen. A dude come to me. I don't even know him from Adam's cat. He say, uh, hey, big man. He say, yeah, you was a dude security at the door. He say, it's a dude outside. He sent me here to tell you, man, come out. He need to holler at you. I say, what he look like? He told me what he looked like. It's that, it's that fool, y'all. I said, he say, uh, he say, tell me what now? He say, come outside. He need to holler at you. I say, listen, homie, tell him I'm not coming outside. If he want to holler at me, he can come inside. Because that's the only way we're going to holler. Dude leave. He come back with a message. The, mess, the dude had the nerve to come back and tell me, man, dude said, man, tonight is your night. What? Tonight is my night. I'm spooked at this time, y'all. I ain't got no gun. But the dude say tonight is my night. Man, listen. I ain't gonna even lie. I stayed in the club all night. All night till it closed. And when it closed, I got paid. And the dude and the owner was telling me, okay, you know, you can go. I wasn't trying to go. I'm knowing this clown out here, man. Now, I got a beeper. I could, you know, try to call some of the homies on the beeper. But my mind ain't working right to even do that. All I know is I don't want to go back outside the door because I'm thinking no boy out here waiting to kill me. So I'm waiting around, waiting around. Everybody done left the club. They cleaning up. They doing some old stuff. It's time for me to go. So, you know, I, I, at, by this time, I said, man, you know what, man? I'm finna bite the bullet, man. Here it is. Whatever gonna happen, gonna happen. Let's ride. Man, I creep, I creep to the front. I'm looking. I'm creeping. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm trying to see him. Where he at? He wasn't there. I walked out. I walked out. Stood right on Western. And he wasn't there. He wasn't there. Um, you should have seen me. I broke the sound barrier getting to my car. Then in my mind, I'm thinking, he know what car I drive. He gonna wait till I try to get in it and gun me down. But the man didn't know what kind of car I drove. But now you know my mind playing tricks on me because I'm a little spook measy at the time. Man, when I got in that car, man, listen here. I got back to the east side so fast that it's like I never left. And I told myself then, I was never, ever, ever finna fool with no stupid security mess no more. Never again in life. Because remember I told y'all when I was staying in Carson 
And them little young dudes pulled up on me at the um at the gas station, spooked me. Thought I was cold. Some rappers want me to do security. No. Man, look, I've been coming. Look, it's been time, man. I was going through the Slauson swap meter through the mall. Man, I had people, dudes come up to me, man, want me to uh just ride with them, be in the car with them. And, you know, they're going to pay me this and that. No, none of that, homie. My thing was the only security I was going to do was for the AGC game. But I tried that mess that one time and, and liked it got my wig flipped. <laughs> Now, I know that might not be an exciting story to some of y'all. Sometimes sometimes the truth don't be exciting, but, it, you know, it's a true story that happened. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, sometimes sometimes the truth don't be exciting, but I just give it to y'all in the raw, homie. I just tell you what happened, man. You know, like I tell you, I tell you my prison stories. I tell you my life stories. And that's all that, and that's what happened, homie. That's what happened. I never did it again till I came to Alabama and got out of prison this time. But now, you know, a little older, I learned to hang things a little bit better. But anyway, man, man, I thank y'all for listening, man. Me, the village story, um, excuse me, right. cartoon one. Y'all know I represent the gangsters. Man, don't forget, man, to go over there to my other channel, the village storyteller, and check out them stories, homie. Now, y'all know those the made-up stories, you know. If it's on the village storyteller, those are just stories for entertainment for y'all to check out. But it'd be real good, man. It's picking up traction. A lot of people start to like them stories over there. It just gives you something, man, to listen to, check out. You know what I'm saying? I put a whole lot into them, man, you know? You might be uh, on break or maybe going to work or coming home from work, something to check out. Just when you're around the house, you and your girl, check me out. But anyway, man, I'm out of here, y'all. <coughs> Peace.